Oh, it's on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing all the hand gestures, and I got confused. So, as I was saying, I think we know everything, but we haven't unlocked it in our conscious mind. Because our mind and our brain are two different things. Our mind controls our decisions and our thoughts and our feelings and our brain it just controls our physical body and our health for example your brain does all the stuff that you don't have to think about like you can change food into waste without thinking about it and you can send white blood cells to protect your body without thinking about it but you have to think about things like should I get a pizza or a hot dog that is your mind and you're not always controlling you're not always controlling your mind sometimes your mind can control you and make you do things that aren't understandable but not everything has to be understood. Which is a problem because mankind is afraid of what they don't understand. Which is why we've grown to this point. To protect ourselves from what we don't understand. But I think we should open ourselves to it. And give things another chance before we take our fears and try to destroy it. So, meditating? I think it would help you open your mind. Like, if you meditate every night for maybe ev even 30 years, you could even take 40, but that will open your mind and then you'll have total control to where your mind can't force you to do stuff you can force your mind and also i think there are two spirits dream spirit and Physical, well, not so much physical, but, you know, like. Maybe a conscious spirit? Yeah, conscious spirit. Um, your conscience spirit is the one that you're use, you may be using right now. And your dream spirit, on the other hand, is when you're not conscious when your body is unconscious your brain is unconscious but your mind is conscious but your mind leaves your 